Welcome back to Midday. We're visiting now with Misa Manchetti, who's visiting us from Manchetti Pharmacy. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you, Katie. Thank this you is a me. very timely topic that you have right now and information that lots of people need. We are talking about avoiding smoke inhalation and what people can do. Yeah, limiting and avoiding. Limiting, That's yeah. right. Correct. Uh, so uh, we have uh, uh, certain points that uh, we can start to uh, bring it on the screen and quickly talk about it. Um, if it's possible, we want to stay inside mm -hmm. and close the windows and doors and uh, keep the house cool. Uh, if you're driving, same thing, you want to close the windows, mm -hmm. turn on the air conditioning and recirculate the air. I think that's an important one. Some people turn on the air conditioning and don't realize you're still pulling it in from outside. Yes, and so you have an option of mm -hmm. Just mm. recirculating, correct? Yeah, change, uh, change the, uh, the furnace filter uh, yeah. more often. This is important. And that um, is one you can do yourself. You don't have to call anyone in. Most people can change it themselves. Correct. And uh, limit the smoking or quit. Uh, there is a free uh, cessation uh, program that government of uh, British Columbia pay for people to quit or decrease their smoking habits. Um, we also see people coming in and they ask us, you know, I need something for my nose because my nose mm. is bleeding or uh, they've been yeah, there. I was just talking with somebody who said that I'm experiencing nosebleeds. Yeah, so uh, it, uh, there is moisturizers uh, that they can use oh, okay. and they have to be gentle with their nose and mm. they not to pick on it or just be be, uh, you know, when, if they are blowing their nose, they have to be gentle with it. Okay. Uh, and then same as uh, eyes, there is moisturizer mm -hmm. that they can use for their eyes as okay. well too. And those are things that they can find at your pharmacy as well? Uh, at my pharmacy or any other pharmacies available. And okay. it's most important to just uh, get the pharmacist on the floor and talk to them. Mm -hmm. uh, the second okay. slide I wanted to talk about is uh, you can actually look up Kamloops quality of uh, air index yes. and what it does it can tell you the poor good and then you can act accordingly mm -hmm. uh, also remember smoke rises to the top so in your house if you uh, stay in the living room uh, mm -hmm. or first floor or if you go to the basement it's even better okay. and uh, we have masks. I have one mask here, if and I may show you. To show us. Correct. Yeah, so you want to pick up the mask that it says uh, N95 or higher. Uh, not all the masks are the same. That means 95% of the particulates that they are in the air or okay. ash will be filtered and you won't inhale it. Perfect. So those are the masks that you want to pick up. It's a great tip. I don't think most people know that, that there are different levels of, of mask and different ones that you can buy. Correct. Not everybody needs that, but if you have a lung mm -hmm. or heart uh, condition or complex problem, it is recommended to right. wear so one of those. somebody who's vulnerable anyway. Absolutely. Okay. So uh, we're going back to the slide. Um, uh, you know, uh, you who are saying that some people they're exercising outside, not recommended yeah. because you're inhaling this smoke, mm -hmm. get lightheadedness, uh, there's carbon monoxide, there's other toxin stuff in the air. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you want to go, if it is possible, to TCC and run inside Absolutely. if it is possible. Yeah, use a treadmill, that kind of thing right now. Yeah, and uh, as you see, uh, I brought two uh, puffers, uh, if I may show you, one is is called, um, uh, like we use it uh, a lot, this is uh, a Ventolin, which is a bronchodilator. Okay. That means it opens up the lung so you can breathe better. We use this medication for emergency reason. And people that they're asthmatic, they also use another one. Um, there are different ones out there, but it's the anti-inflammatory one. Okay. Uh, uh, is This particular one is called Flowent. Now, so are these prescribed inhalers these are, then? Yeah, these are prescribed. But people that they have a uh, problem, you know, uh, asthmatic pro uh, problems, mm -hmm. we see that they use a lot of this during this time. Okay. And some people need, uh, uh, during this time, they need this puffer. So they come with the prescription mm -hmm. and we give it to them. I wanted to show the technique. 
yeah. of how to use the puffers. Um, even people that they've been using puffers for 10, 20, 30 years, that doesn't mean that they're using it correctly. Right. And uh, we want to, if you're spending money and buying a puffer, mm -hmm. you might as well use it right Absolutely. so you can get the most out of it. And you're ingesting it no matter what, so you want to limit how many times and do it once effectively instead of Correct. 10 times incorrectly. Exactly. Um, so if people use uh, this device that, uh, 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 they call uh, recipe chamber or aero chamber. Um, this is actually the one that I brought is not very expensive, which is but very good, uh, you know, and it's around 20 bucks. Uh, they uh, basically uh, uh, put it inside the uh, device and they inhale it from here. Okay. Now, if you don't want to carry this and you just want to use this device, um, basically you want to sit upright uh, you don't want to tilt your head back or front too much. Just relax. In neutral position? Neutral position okay. um, because you want to open up your airway. Okay. Yeah. We should and imagine then, this is a placebo. Hmm? This is a placebo. <laughs> There's no drugs in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then you want to shake it so the drugs are evenly distributed. Mm -hmm. And if there's something in there, you want to fall off or, you know, because you don't want to inhale it, right? right. Uh, and you want to make sure always you close this lid because if you put it in your pocket uh, and there's something goes in there and inhale. you inhale it, yeah. yeah. So always kind of close it, okay. then you shake it. Then you breathe out because you want to get the air that you have yeah. inside out. This year I had to use a puffer for the first time and that's something I didn't realize. I remember watching kids do that when I was a kid and they just shh, into their mouth. But you know, and there it says very specifically, empty your lungs as much as possible before yeah. you breathe it in. Yeah, comfortably. So yeah. you don't want to do too much. You just <laughs> right. want to do don't it comfortably. Don't pass out before yes. you're going to do it. Inhale. So you want to go and go uh, inhale, uh, exhale and just... Keep it uh, as much as comfortable mm -hmm. and then breathe out. Okay, and out through your nose. That's right. And if there is a, do you have to do it twice, mm -hmm. uh, then you wait maybe in a 50 seconds or so. Okay. And you repeat the same thing uh, again. Perfect. Yeah, a lot of people, they go puff, puff. Yeah. And it's not supposed That's to be. That's what I remember kids <laughs> doing when I was a kid. It was almost so, like a toy, right? Yeah. Well, these ones, do you need to rinse your mouth afterwards? Because I know that the one I did that had steroids, you had to rinse your mouth afterwards. Very good, very good point. Thank you for bringing it up. So the, the bronchodilator, no. Okay. But the anti-inflammatory ones, uh, which comes under a variety of names, uh, they recommend they rinse the mouth okay. so you don't get the thrush or white tongue. Yes. Uh, that's, um, or drink a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. That will... That will uh, so I guess the most important thing is read your instructions and see which one you have. Read instruction, uh, discuss things with your pharmacist, mm -hmm. you know, get to know your pharmacist yes. uh, better. Uh, if you have a time, I'm just going to finish yeah, the slides. Yeah, we have slides. a couple more points on the slides. So, uh, we just did uh, review the techniques, uh, uh, you know, it's a good time if you want to go visit people in the lower mainland mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. island, uh, so there's uh, for the people that have, uh, you know, problem mm -hmm. uh, breathing the smokes. Uh, and uh, one of the things I wanted to mention is if people have um, come to our town and, you know, they can go to any pharmacy mm -hmm. and get emergency refills yes, for their so medications. Yes, that's so important that people know that you don't have to go without your medications. No, just go see a pharmacist and they will look after you and they will give your uh, medication. Great. Uh, so that is uh, important uh, to be aware of. Now, if you're in downtown and you're getting shortness of breath, mm -hmm. what would you do? you go somewhere that is air-conditioned. Right. Go to the library, go to the mall, and relax a little bit. Step out. A yeah. Step out. Or from, step in, I guess. Step, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, some people, uh, be aware if you're getting chest pain, if mm. you're mm -hmm. a persistent cough, uh, lightheadedness, and some people get really tired because they are not getting enough oxygen. Right. In their body. So now is a good time to pay attention to your body. That's right. And then they can go see a doctor or go see a, uh, you know, emergency um, to, uh, to deal with the situation. All right. That's great information. I know this stuff is all 
top of the mind for a lot of us, but we're not sure what we should be paying attention to mm -hmm. or how to properly use uh, these things that we have. So thank you so much for thank that. Thank you for having me again. If you'd like more information, there is the website at the bottom of the screen and you have two locations in town. Where, pe where can people visit you? Uh, that's right. They can come to downtown 477 St. Paul Street or 370 uh, Tronquil Road. Be more Perfect. than happy to serve them. Great. We look forward to having you back again. Thank you. We'll be back with more midday in just a moment.